Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I have some things to show you, so I thought I'd jump on and then I can get them out and put them in the shed. Because <clears throat> I made quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it is Sunday the 9th of April, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's a family visits today, um, mother-in-law, father-in-law, auntie-in-law, I don't know. Uh, came and brought the kids uh, Easter eggs and stuff and Came to see me because it, <coughs> excuse me, came to see me because it's my birthday on Friday, but they'd already sent me gifts, um, which I'm very grateful for. So I'm sure that I made. Uh, let's start with my foot. <laughs> Keep dropping the book. So my April pattern book choice was Pocket Amigurumi by Sabrina Summers, and I picked Washimo. Uh, where is he? I think his picture's at the, no it's not, his picture's at the front of his picture. I thought it was at the back. So there he is, very cute. And here is my version, so it's slightly different colours. Uh, um, this is all Derrimore's yarn, I believe. Uh, I got it in a blanket kit, so it's like a chocolate brown. Sage maybe, olive, uh, just a yellow and a white, and then felt. For the eyes so this was my april pattern and i finished it april the first april the second i think i did the eyes on the second but i did the rest of him on april the first i was like oh so slightly peaked too soon but anyway so that's from this book um i've not as yet picked a pattern for may so i'll do that and i'll do a separate video for it <clears throat> then so i had this week off to spend with the kids because they're off school and then they ditched me for a good chunk of the week because they went out with friends and stuff so I was like oh and they played with each other on Monday I took Roxy to the vets for her yearly vaccination and came back and they were playing together and then they pretty much entertained themselves all day so I crocheted a crab this is Chowder the Crab by Little Ellie's Ellie's I'll link everything below but isn't it cute I think his mouth's a bit off to the side. I don't know. I'm not changing it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. All his little leggies on the back and his pincers. It's really cute. I think I got this um, pattern in a bundle. Um, there's loads of her patterns. But this is the first one I've made, I think. I really like it and highly recommend it. And it's even got crab stitch. Which I did okay. I don't. I normally struggle with crab stitch because it's really sort of counterintuitive, but it was okay. And I had the proper colours. This is Starcraft Special, and this is Clementine, and then just white and safety eyes. But I had the right orange. I like the orange. It's quite nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And then so Tuesday, Jack went to his friend's house. Did we go out with his friends? I can't remember the ditch me again anyway. No, yeah, Tobin, Jack went to his friend's house and then they went swimming and Tobin went swimming at the same place and kind of kept an eye on Jack for me. So I was on my own again. But I couldn't go to the gym because I was waiting for my sister-in-law to pop around with Easter eggs and birthday present. Um, so I made, this is Baby Ralph, the Venus flytrap by Grim Grinning Goats. And he was done fairly quickly. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> I think he's so cute. And it's got a little pot, you can do whatever colour you want, but I just went for brown. This is all in Red Hot Super Saver, which is bits I've got left. Um, so yeah, he's super sweet. I'll link to the pattern website um, below. Then, I can't remember when I made these, or if, what's the other one? If I've even shown them to you. I've got stuff everywhere. Sitting on one of them. Where is the other one? Aha. Nope, there's another one. Here he is. So this piggy pattern is a video, a tutorial on YouTube. I will find it. I can't remember who it's by. Crafter Frog, maybe? Crafter Frog, possibly. Um, and he's got a little bow tie. Look, he's got a little bum. <laughs> he's so cute. Really, really quick to make. Um, so I have two more. Um, I just need to make bow ties for them, but I wanted to get bringing some different colour yarn. This was um, some variegated that I'd started making a jellyfish cubing with. Oh, dirty now, so 
sorry. Um, yeah, so I pulled it apart and um, made the bow tie. So I need to get some more yarn to make the bow ties for these two. But they're really cute. Big butt. So cute. Um, so I'll link the video uh, below as well. Okay, so then I made some bees and I've made these before. This is Happy Gurumi, possibly. I'll have to look it up, but I will link it below. Hang on, I've got another one. I can hold all four of them. So yeah, four cute little bees. Um, I wanted to, um, I used pretty much all of the ball of yellow I had. So it made some bright ones. This is um, an Audi yellow, but then they stopped doing it. Uh, they haven't done another bright yellow since. So I've got their pale yellow that I've made some bees out of, but I, ideally I'd like this colour back. But I have got some Bernat Blanket yellow. I bought a big ball of it, so I have some more if I need some, but I think my next purchase might have to be a big ball of black. So maybe I'll do a big order. Um, so where are we? I think we're at the squid. So this is the uh, squid by Plushy Co. Uh, again, I'll link. Instagram and Linktree and whatever below. So and it's quite big. And this is the yarn I bought from the range. Uh, I can't remember which colourway this is, but it's like pinks and oranges. Really nice. Someone walking down our driveway. There's lots of activity outside today. Yeah, someone's just delivered something. So yeah, cute. I can't remember if in the original pattern it had Sorry, I can just see the reflection of a dude walking up the driveway, but he's talking. I don't know if it's Amazon or something. Um, I don't know if I had eyebrows before, but I gave it eyebrows. So it was cute. It was just super fast. I woke up really, really quickly. I made this like yesterday. And then, speaking of quick makes, oh, I think these are like my favourite thing <laughs> I've made recently. Because I can't remember which one I made first, I think it's this one. And I, I'd got the eyes in it and I was checking they were in the right position. And I sewed the beak on and then went, oh my god, I love you. Are you ready? Look <laughs> how stinking cute he is. So this took half an hour or so. Oh, oh look. Oh, this so cute. Paul thinks I've gone full on crazy woman because I was like, eek, about how cute they are. Um, I can't remember who made them. Where's my phone? Oh, let me find it. My hair is a mess, I do apologise. Let me find the pattern or who it's by. I did link it in my Instagram. Haru Crochets, H-A-R-U Crochets. Her name's Paula. Um, there's her Instagram. Can I get it closer? Can you see it? I don't know if I've got any glare on it. But yeah, um, I'll link it below as well. I just happened to see, I think someone had made one of the patterns and said it was by um, Haru Crochets. And I was like, ooh, let's have a look. So in the pattern pack you get a duck, a chick, which I haven't made yet, and a chicken. And it's so quick to make. I look at them, <laughs> just adorable. Adorable. And it's no sew. The only thing you sew is the beak which is like two or three strands of yellow or orange if it's the um, chick. So cute. I love them. Um, the duck's my favorite. It's mallard uh, duck. So cute, so cute. Um, so yes, I will probably make more of these because they make me incredibly happy. <laughs> I don't know why. They're little wings. They're so cute. So yes. That's what I've been up to. So that's pretty good for like a week, isn't it? But are we ten, nine days into April? I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen things. That's pretty good, isn't it? And I'm still working on the blanket. I'm making, did I tell you I was making a blanket? Uh, I think it's a sober granny. I've been, feel like I've been working on it for that long. That. I can't even remember looking at the tutorial. I think it's a super brand. I like it, it's really nice. But it's a gift for someone, so I won't show it yet. I won't show it, it's been gifted, so I don't give the game away. Um, 
but yes so i don't know what the plan is for the rest of the month other than probably making like a million ducks see i'm limited because ooh, i was gonna say because i haven't got any more mariners brown than the like last ball i've got but i've got banana blanket taupe and sand is it sand that got sent to me from the states because people are lovely um so yeah maybe i can use those yeah so yeah there'll be ducks everywhere but at least i can put these items back in the shed well not back in the shed just in the shed in my uh, craft and um yeah paul can stop looking over at my my unit over there going are you are you putting more things on there so let me show you i made uh, a purchase because i watched Ange from Yarn and Yarns. Hi Ange, I watched her shop talk video. And to be honest, it's a good job she doesn't do them all that often because every time she does, I go, ooh, and buy something. So I bought myself a new seven millimeter hook because I broke my, it was a black handled one, black and gold, I think. Was it black and gold? Probably just a knit pro one, I'm sure. But I broke it. Look at my hair. Uh, I broke it making the penguin that I then messed up. No, it's all that I messed up. Um, yeah, and I broke my hook in the process. So I bought a new seven mil hook and then still got the tag on it because it arrived yesterday and I immediately put a project in it. So this is the, what are they, the crafty gnomes? Yeah, crafting gnomes. Uh, Emma Ball drawstring bag and it's huge. I've got. Balls of um, can you see several different colours of um, banana blanket yarn in there, so it's holding quite a bit of stuff, and it was it had um, the squid in straight away yesterday. Uh, but, Jack, you're in my light, darling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Hello. Jack's here. You alright, mate? Yeah, yeah. Jack wants me to bring his friends' mums to see if his friends are free to come and hang out this afternoon. Hopefully it will be, but I don't know. People do things on Sundays, yeah. don't they? This is like almost the first weekend we've had nothing to do in weeks. We've been so busy, haven't we? We're not normally busy. Yeah. But I got a new car, Paul got a new car, and we had bit, uh, meals for birthdays and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been a busy old couple of weeks. And then. in a few months too, to be exact, my birthday followed up by a trip that I won't stop going on about. It won't stop going on about a school residential trip. PGL, parents get I'm lost. I'm very excited about it. So I take it you want me to make the last payment so you can go then. You better. I will. And then Tobin's got a trip to London to see Hamilton. I am furious. Hamilton. And then to make it worse, like a couple of weeks later, they. Uh, sent another email out saying there's a trip to go and see Les Mis in London. They're like my two favourite musicals. And just going to see them both. And it was like, which one's Les Mis? Is it that one day, one more day one? I'm like, yes, that one. So, I'm really pleased with it. I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity. And it's like 50 quid for the coach and tickets and stuff like that. So it's it's not a bad price at all, really, I don't think. Uh, we would struggle to get there for that much, so. Or that little. I just want to go. And... I haven't bought anything else yet. I've got nothing else coming with birthday money and stuff. I've got a Lush voucher and some money and some Amazon vouchers. And Paul bought me a new ghost... Well, I haven't got any ghost hoodies, but he bought me a ghost hoodie. Ghost is a, a band that I really, really like. And he bought me some new trainers and he's bought me a suit maker. So the boys are more interested in you using that. Tony's been after a suit maker for ages. I'm like, you can't ask for a suit maker for your birthday. But Paul didn't know what to buy me, so oh, no, it'd be good to give it a go. And I can make stuff at home that I know what's going into it, and it's stuff that kids will eat, that's great. So it's big though, like a jug thing, but it's, you know, big, big old unit. But anyway, um, I'll show you my other bag. This is my other, actually, I've got a couple of bags from Angela, but this is one of their. One of these puffins in sweaters or something. So I like this one. And I've got, yeah, I've got the puffins in a, a drawstring bag as well. 
in like the drawstring project bag and I ordered one of the enamel pins as well that says something like if I can't no it doesn't say if I can't take my hook I'm not going it's something like have hook will travel or something like that but I love the emerald ball stuff it's so cute I was torn because um go and watch Angela's I'll link it the latest shop talk video but there's a I don't know if it is emerald ball I think it is but she's done a collaboration with another cro with a eight crochet designer and um she's got the Persian tiles blanket like on a bag and then is it the magic mystical lanterns or something like that gorgeous bags i was really torn between getting the persian tiles and the crafty gnomes but the gnomes one because you know gnomes are cute um but yeah go check it out i'll put the video uh, the link below um i, I love them i'd have them more but i've got to save some money to buy yarn with <laughs> I, uh, someone messaged me, thank you, uh, you enabler, to say that did I know Joanne's were shipping internationally. I didn't know. I then went and started perusing. Unfortunately, a lot of the Red Hot Super Saver, um, that variegated colours were out of stock. But I think um, I checked what the US post, the postage to here would be, and it was twelve ninety nine, or like $26 if it was like express or something so that is not bad at all so yeah my birthday money might get spent on that but I was looking in the like shipping bit and the frequently asked questions and I couldn't see whether it said taxes were applied at the border because when I used to order from Red Hot he paid the taxes over there but then when I ordered from what did I order? Oh, I ordered some safety eyes and the taxes weren't paid and I got stung over here and it made it like more expensive buying, you know, I could have bought them in the UK. But when I'd had them shipped previously, they didn't get snagged. So I think the values, allowable values must have changed. See with the price of eyes going up, it must have been more expensive and I got, I had to pay extra. But anywho, so I've waffled for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you're all okay. Um, and that you're having a good Easter weekend if you are in a place that celebrates Easter or you celebrate Easter or you're off work or you know you've got a nice long weekend um, yes I hope you're well uh, thank you for all your comments and messages let me know what you're working on um, yeah enable me you know, patterns yarn anything like that I, I'm very easily swayed but seriously go check these patterns out I will link <laughs> he's alive I will link to her below but they are brilliant and super super quick and they're so freaking cute so cute but yes I'm gonna go because my battery looks like it's dying Tavin's dancing behind the camera right I'm gonna go and message Jack's friend's mum before he comes down steps and harasses me again so have a nice rest of your long weekend hopefully if you got an extra day off um, have a great rest of your April uh, thank you to everyone doing April vlogs I've, I've not been Jack's back I've not been able to catch up much um, it's just too busy um, but yes so take care I will be back later in the month with my May pattern book choice um, and yeah uh, if anyone's got any suggestions from the books I had if anyone's made anything they think I should give it a go let me know uh, and I'll consider it and then I'll let you know what I pick. So take care and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.